Thank you. Ouch. Go. I will. Now. Hi guys, I'm here with your Bible reading. I hope you guys are having a good day. We are going to start with John chapter 10, verses 22 through 42. And then we have Psalm, which is Psalm 116. And then we have a couple Proverbs. I've already selected our card, so let's go ahead and read it. This side says Ephesians chapter 4, verse 2. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. And the next side is from Thomas A. Kempis. At the least, bear patiently, if thou canst not joyfully. Alright. Put that in the back. In our little Jesus box. I don't know if I already said, but we'll be reading in the New International Version. If you want to follow along online because you don't have a Bible or you know it's easier that way for you, I go, what I use every day is BibleGateway.com and you can select any version you want there. And if you sign up for the reading plan, you can also, it will also take you every day back to where you left off. And you can get through the whole Bible. Old Testament and New in one year. I can't do the Old Testament and New Testament both because my camera, for some reason, only goes to 30 minutes. I wished it would record longer because I would, I would try to do that. Sorry, I got a cough drop in my mouth. I apologize. My mouth is really dry and my nose is all clogged up. Okay. Then came the festival of dedication at Jerusalem. It was winter and Jesus was in the temple courts walking in Solomon's colonnade. The Jews who were there gathered around him saying, how long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. Jesus answered, I did tell you, but you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify about me, but you do not believe because you are not my sheep. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my Father's hand. I and the Father are one. And you know the Pharisees are going to get mad about that. Again, his Jewish opponents picked up stones to stone him. But Jesus said to them, I have shown you many good works from the Father. For which of these do you stone me? We are not stoning you for any good work, they replied, but for blasphemy against you. A mere man claimed to be God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law? I have said you are gods. If we called them gods, to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be set aside. What about the one whom the Father set apart as his very own and sent into the world? Why then do you accuse me of blasphemy because I said, I am God's Son? Do not believe me unless I do the works of my Father. But if I do them, even though you do not believe me, believe the works, that you may know and understand that the Father is in me, and I in the Father. Again they tried to seize him, but he escaped their grasp. Then Jesus went back across the Jordan to the place where John had been baptizing in the early days. There he stayed, and many people came to him. They said, though John never performed a sign, 
all that Jesus said about this man was true. And in that place, many believed in Jesus. Okay, that's where we're going to stop at the book of John today. Our psalm is Psalm 116, 19 verses, I believe. Another beautiful psalm. Don't you just think the psalms are beautiful? I do. I love the Lord, for he heard my voice. He heard my cry for mercy, because he turned his ear to me. I will call on him as long as I live. The cords of death entangled me. The anguish of the grave came over me. I was overcome by distress and sorrow. Then I called on the name of the Lord. Lord, save me. The Lord is gracious and righteous. Our God is full of compassion. The Lord protects the unwary. When I was brought low, he saved me. Return to your rest, my soul, for the Lord has been good to you. For you, Lord, have been for you, Lord, have delivered me from death, my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling, that I may walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I trusted in the Lord when I said, I am greatly afflicted. In my alarm, I said, everyone is a liar. What shall I return to the Lord for all his goodness to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his faithful servants. Truly, I am your servant, Lord. I serve you just as my mother did. You have freed me from my chains. I will sacrifice a thank offering to you and call on the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. All right, guys, and that was Psalm 116. And we've got two Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 15, verses 20 and 21. A wise son brings joy to his father, but a foolish man despises his mother. Folly brings joy to one who has no sense, but whoever has understanding keeps a straight course. All right, guys, that was our Bible reading for today. I hope it touched your guys' hearts. Let me run through the list of names of our prayer book real quick. Heather Edwards, Eric, Macy, Christopher Serbach, Margie and Chuck Sickles, Norma Boyer, Miranda and Jeremy Caverly, April Linda Thacker, Sherman Crabtree, Cindy Welsh, Rhonda Karshner, Jimmy Myers, Abby Myers, Barb Post, Doris Thompson, Lonnie Dawes Jr. and family, Debbie Lee, Kenny Wellman, Melody Ramey, Mindy Gallimore, Bridget Boggs, Sandy, Paris Jude, Shannon and her little son Giovanni, Roy and Lori Mollett, Tammy Ashworth, Norman Karshner, Ariana Lloyd, Chrissy, Garnet Boyer, Kat, Alicia, Patty Haynes, Ramona Henry, and all the homeless people and animals. I was just told today that two of my sisters are online talking bad about me, putting it all over Facebook and saying how trashy I am, that I'm trashy, and all kinds of horrible things. I haven't talked to them in years, and and when I was around them and we were talking, I was always, always, always nothing but good to them. And that's how they are. I haven't even spoken to Melly in over a year. And Shelly, it's been years. I like to know how they think I'm trashy. I'd really like to know that. I don't even want to know what all they said about me. 
I've dealt with that all my life. All my life. So I wish people wouldn't even tell me that stuff, you know? Anyways, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Let's bring those souls to Jesus, and God willing, I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye, guys. God bless.